If the UK government needed any reminding of the context for the autumn statement, here it was. A small demonstration opposite Parliament demanding Brexit straight away. Of course, it's not quite as easy as that. And in the Commons, Philip Hammond admitted the continuing uncertainty is already having an impact, with the Office for Budget Responsibility saying it means 2.4% less growth over the next five years. In 2017, the OBR forecasts growth to slow to 1.4%, which they attribute to lower investment and weaker consumer demand, driven respectively by greater uncertainty and by higher inflation, resulting from sterling depreciation. Hammond outlined new funds aimed at increasing investment in affordable housing and new road and transport links, though perhaps not on the scale of Crossrail, already Europe's largest infrastructure project. This is an example of an infrastructure project that was well underway before the referendum vote. With his new announcement, Philip Hammond hopes to encourage infrastructure spending that will help thousands of businesses across the country. But his critics say what the economy could really do with is clarity over the country's future relationship with the European Union. Hammond also announced the government will have to borrow around $150 billion more over five years than expected before the referendum. And he pinpointed one immense challenge when the UK goes it alone, productivity. In the real world, it takes a German worker four days to produce what we make in five. And that means, in turn, that too many British workers work longer hours for lower pay than their counterparts. And that has to change. For this expert, the doctors made the right diagnosis, but nobody knows for sure if he'll have the medicine to treat it. The tone is very welcome. However, whether Philip Hammond will have lots of wiggle room to do more things very much depends on the state of the economy. It will very much depend on how the negotiations will take place. There's a lot of downside risk. And with the hows and whens of Brexit still being argued over, this could well turn out to be a winter of discontent for both leavers and remainers. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, London.